So as a cancer patient, I know one of the biggest questions I had when I was diagnosed, you hear the word cancer, or in this case, CLL leukemia, I have two questions. One of them, is there a cure for CLL? And if not, are there any trials looking at a cure for CLL? Yes, excellent um, and understandable question. Um, traditionally, we we say that CLL or other slower growing, or sometimes you'll hear the term indolent lymphomas, um, do tend to be slower growing. Some patients don't need treatment, but the flip side of that is we generally think of them as not curable. Um, that they're a chronic condition and that treatment, the goal of treatment is to knock it down and relieve whatever symptoms or indications or reasons your starting treatment are. Uh, but at some level, we, we historically think of CLL as either eventually coming back or sticking around, so to speak. However, I think most, um, uh, most oncologists, most those in the field, um, feel that some of the treatments that are around or in, co or in combination, um, that we're going to have some patients that have maybe what a, a term might be functional cure or individual um, cure-like condition, meaning if our newer treatments for some patients can can knock down the CLL so much that it either doesn't come back or takes so long to even show itself again um, in a way that serves as what the purpose of cure uh, really is, which is, is to get it down to levels that it's not causing problems or not coming back um, for, the, for the lifetime of the patient. Um, bone marrow transplant um, is the only therapy historically that has been cured, uh, uh, has offered a cure for some patients. The, the downside and the reason that most patients aren't referred to, to for bone marrow transplant is the risk side of it, meaning um, unfortunately a bone marrow or stem cell transplant um, has such a high risk of um, directly causing side effects um, that could be life limiting or chronic side effects from the transplant itself versus the agents available now that we we aren't using or referring to bone marrow transplant nearly as much. Uh, but I think it's really encouraging what we're seeing in responses. So we talked already about those main categories of BTK inhibitors or venetoclax. Um, I didn't yet talk about, but there are many trials that have looked at those in combination. Um, or um, CAR T, for example, or by specific antibodies that um, are knocking down the, the CLL to such low levels um, that the hope is that serves um, as a way of functional cure, but it's going to take time to see if that's, if that's the case. But, um, but we're all very encouraged and really believe that that's on the horizon.